Okay, shall we continue? Then, uh, okay, now we're going to start with the uh, triple integral. Okay, triple, triple integral, triple integral. Uh, as we revised before, okay, triple integral is uh, fxy with the goes uh, dy dx dy dz it can be written in a many way okay if it is a double it can be a, a z a okay d a uh, i can write that as a f v which is d v okay volume base uh, this is a 3D base and with the ghost and once ghost go in then you started seeing 4D okay actually you are with the ghost is a 4D okay we are trying to see 4D AD okay uh, although we start without F we are looking at 3D but with the ghost is already 4D okay 4 dimension okay then the, this is without uh, uh, because it's uh, uh, three triple integral it's not as easy as you can see here yeah? and uh, the most important things you need to fix your eye here I would like to stress here this word okay and uh, the important things here you fix this must be constant first rule constant and you must fixed you can, must fix your eye here and the second here, this combination of these two, combination of that two, here, the up to here, is a region. You need to find the region. Okay, therefore you need to find the, you need to find the region. That's a two rules to be followed. Very important. First, sorry, find, find, sorry, to finding. Okay, it's not a find and T, yeah. Okay, it's a find the region. Okay, you need to find constant and you need to find the region here. Okay, when you find the region, in this particular case here, you fix your eye here, make it a constant. Okay, and you need to find the region, which is here in this case is a, uh, to calculate the whole um, triple integral. Okay, now, uh, now let me immediately start with that please follow these two rule two rules huh? okay any exchange I already explained to you if you want to exchange this DZ to the DY or whatever is only allowed only if the case is a constant okay if the range is a constant then you can you are allowed to change this okay you can change if it is not a constant you are not allowed to change okay now we can see the Example, a solid is, uh, okay, a solid is with, uh, is with Z equals to zero, the plane, okay, the plane, X equals to one, X equals to four, uh, Y equals to two, y equals to 5 and surface z equals to x plus y and uh, this is the case and uh, they want you to find the volume of the solid okay you are you are required to find the volume of the uh, solid okay with this can we start working on the sketching first okay z and uh, x y it's uh, simple logics to work with that is x first for the x okay again again this is a convention you can change it to x here okay you can change it the x here or y here Z also can, you know, as long as you know what you are doing, that's very important, as I, as I told you before. 
okay this is one this is four uh, this is two this is five for example then the things is coming like um, okay this is the crossed area okay now surface Z is a zero and they want you to draw that okay now this is a combination and X and Y changes of the X and Y will change the Z okay what is the highest changes of X okay remember if uh, X is a 4 Y is a 5 Z is a what is that a 4 plus 5 which is 9 therefore it can go up to 9 okay up to 9 that's a very important things that uh, I want you to take note on that therefore the combination here maximum it will go 9 uh, but it's uh, not a right shape it's a something uh, at the beginning Z will be a very small okay you can see this is a maximum okay the size is something very interesting but I, I don't want to discuss too detail about the sketching of this Z uh, 1 plus 2 is a 3 is a minimum okay minimum you you can see the shape is a very small it will be a like a tiny kind of things but it start from the 3 okay 3 and it will go up to uh, 9 therefore it's a hanging kind of things huh? it's a hanging kind of things actually it's a okay uh, kind of I just draw uh, okay okay imagine this this is the 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 surface volume that you are required to calculate okay with that uh, you don't need to be a so precise in the sketching as I said uh, you just uh, able to sketch the idea just get the idea get the idea just then you feel a bit uh, comfortable with that idea okay with that uh, can I go uh, with uh, the maximum as I told you this is what you can see but the sketching is not accurate yet it can change accordingly but but don't worry about that as long as you can calculate that's very important okay now the ultimate things to calculate here is this okay uh, where am I supposed to place I like to always go for X if we F X is exists uh, for the fix okay therefore I'm fixing this X okay number two uh, this is X axis okay X axis I'm using X axis but the combination I need to find the region first okay which region am I referring to okay the region that I am referring to the is is the XY region okay I am referring to the XY region okay therefore I am going to analyze this first if no region you cannot pull that up therefore first very important to build the region first therefore first is a DX second is DY then only it going to be DZ lah, of course right okay dz and now what is x here um x is a 4 to 1 and what is a y y is a 2 uh, 5 always remember 5 to 2 what about z z is very clear 0 is a below and uh, on the top is a uh, x plus y okay with that can i calculate yes i hope that you can calculate uh, all these things step by step go one by one and you should be able to calculate that uh, very uh, comfortably uh, as long as uh, you know how to calculate the logics of this mm. okay the first thing that uh, I leave it that as uh, something for your exercise can I do that okay because um, the V is a 54 unit okay please calculate that is a straightforward calculation that I hope that you all can calculate uh, okay this one hmm uh, okay I'll just a little bit help you huh? 
okay, four one uh, five two um, this is x y c x plus y then automatically that's a z disappear already right therefore you will have a dy dx and y go inside then it's a four one okay therefore you will get uh, x y plus y two hmm? okay you will get dx and uh, it's a five two okay then from there i think you can proceed to calculate your next move you see five then just place this okay you just place this you can you should be able to calculate that dx okay that's simple okay that's simple just i wanted to give you some example that's it okay with that uh okay before i introduce to you uh, cylindrical coordinate okay cylindrical coordinate i want you to know sketching of 3d revise back the sketch okay the sketch very fast quick uh, revisions okay number one we learned uh, x2 plus y2 equals to r squared this is a circle okay kind of quick revision again i remind you okay to in order to parabola is a y equals to x2 because if you can't let's say if you can't imagine this very difficult for you to sketch the things okay here it's a something you can see y2 to the x if something for this kind of visual then x to the y you should get this and uh, for the uh, y if it is uh, uh, cylindrical then z equals to k and uh, x2 y2 to the r and z equals to k is a cylinder okay and uh, what about uh, if you won't go to be the sketching is a very powerful tool for you to imagine to for you to imagine you can come down no problem but uh, uh, i just would like to stress you can come down again here there is a possibility for the things if it is that is not that and uh, one more thing that you learn is um, parboloid and uh, cone. Uh, cone logics is basically is uh, uh, okay something you can see that is x2 to the y2 to the z2 okay with the z you get this uh these are the main sketch that i want you all to know okay okay in the uh, spherical spherical can move anyway spherical this is spherical uh please write uh, this is cone uh, cone and uh, this is paraboloid or okay i want you to cylindrical you just fill up that okay the the things here is x2 y2 2 r2 okay spherical and one more okay remember these are the things we will you will be expected to sketch huh? therefore this must be in your mind okay the last one is a tetrahedron the tetrahedron is always something like this ax by cz to the d this is tetrahedron for the quadrant okay one one quadrant one quadrant base okay we already learned all the uh, the basics of the sketching and uh, uh, this is a kind of revision i want you all to take a uh, quick revisions for your last semester please do that because uh, without this knowledge i don't think that you're able to uh, do the uh, the next portions you know onwards okay the next portion you can see please sketch 
Okay, please catch that. Can you? Circle to parabola. Okay, whatever. Just cylinder, cone, spherical to the tetrahedron. Okay, now with that, we're going to move and learn what we call as a cylindrical coordinate. I'm going to introduce to you cylindrical coordinates. Okay, what is this cylindrical coordinate? Okay. Uh, this is one of the very uh, powerful uh, this thing I'm using cylindrical coordinate system okay anything look like a cylindrical you know many um, why why cylindrical coordinator huh? so popular yes it's popular also because you can see many crystals uh, formation in the atomic uh, this thing when you see nano structure nano structure of certain uh, molecules uh, combinations of the molecules then you will find it that is something it's look like a cylindrical therefore mm, the usage of cylindrical also play the important role okay now here the Z is uh, okay, slowly the things become complex. Huh? Please take note on that. Carefully follow. Okay, this is cylindrical. It's still okay. Still okay. It's not that difficult. But you can see that uh, I'm... I'm... Okay, earlier we learned polar. This is a continuation from the polar to the another level. Okay, this is a X, Y. We learned polar, right? Polar is R. We learned R. Now we convert R. Then we just shoot up with this what we call is F theta to the R Z. Then it's automatically from the polar we are just bringing up it's a cylindrical. We managed to form the cylindrical. Okay, it's actually again I repeat that this is a combination of polar plus okay a ghost. The ghost go up as a FZ. Okay, it's a, a follow follow polar. Uh, coordinate 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 and uh, from there at base at the base we use polar at the base we use polar okay this is the base and on the top we are on the stretching part huh? on the stretching part we are using uh, Z and the ghost ghost I may say it's a ghost you imagine that as a ghost okay that's how we're going to design the things Therefore, our our dv that we're going to construct for the dx, dy, dz, same as polar, but it's we use r polar. This one is polar, right? Polar dr, d theta, and we are adding to the dz. Again, I repeat this one. This portion, this portion is circle. Okay, polar. And we just pulled up this D, DZ, okay, DZ, okay, the DZ is actually play the role here, DZ, and this one is polar, okay, R, D, theta, D, R, okay, we use polar and we use this one, okay, into calculation, then you can see the cylinder formation, okay, cylinder formation, okay, uh, Hey, are you okay? Did you get it that or not? Still not very clear. Okay, maybe I just sketch again a kind of repetition. Okay, for this is a dr, d theta. Okay, this is r d r. This is r overall r. This is a d theta. It's a circumference. I pulled up. I pulled up bit. Okay, this one you just pulled up bit. Okay, now you can see we are calculating for the. Uh, okay, we are calculating what we call as a, this. Okay, this one area region. We are still using the same logics of the region, and we are looking at the dz. This is a dz. Okay. I hope that you can get it this it's a straightforward anyway it's a straightforward unlike a spherical that you're going to see later 
Okay, many of you mm, might scratch your head for a while. Okay, now with that, uh, now we know why we are calculating, you know, with this. And the uh, basic rules to apply here, always x, when you use a r cos theta, y is a r sin theta, and z will be always z changes of this coordinate system you want to change coordinate system from one coordinate to the another coordinate this is what you're supposed to use okay uh, the formal definition I can give uh, but it's okay actually as long as you can understand the logics of this I if you want then I need to write this formal oh, okay this is a formula if you want to write this x y z uh, d x d y d z okay you want to convert that to uh, what you call uh, a polar uh, sorry cylindrical this will be r f r cos theta r sin theta z from coordinate changes huh? r d theta to the dr okay this is what actual definition is okay with that um, I think better we go for the uh, some simple example to get uh, some idea maybe make it ourselves near to this uh, problem okay the example that I would like to give is uh, uh, simple okay I, I just uh, calculation based uh, then you should be able to calculate uh, the calculation Conversion is uh, different, but later I'll give you one uh, solid example. I just want you to see this problem. How do they calculate uh, for the case? If the case is, uh, for example, 2 pi 0, imagine 2, 0, and this is a 1, 0, and um, okay, I place this as x2, y2, 2, y4, z r d z d r d theta okay okay if this is the question imagine you see x y z suddenly appear uh, this is unhealthy things because we are using r and d theta suddenly x y is appear therefore the conversion you need to use the conversion to do it this that's what i wanted to emphasize here okay uh, you can uh, change it to the X and Y but uh, the most important things is you need to change everything to X and Y that's the more important thing is you need to change X and cause and everything don't don't I, I, I am just giving idea to solve then later it's all fixed you can change exchange this according to solve which one is easy to solve I, I want you to remember this is all constant can you see that if it is a constant you can swap you can swap and change this for example I just show you 2 pi 0 2 0 1 0 uh, this one is very lengthy one 2 uh, uh, can I fix uh, 2 cannot uh, sorry this is x is r r cos theta power 2 uh, this is complex you know r sine theta 2 uh, combination you see cos 2 is already very much complex look like and uh, 2 uh, this is another one you can see r r sine theta power 2 z is z no changes inside z therefore okay now z is there uh, okay overall you put it that and just say r d z okay so you're going outside too far d r d theta okay okay now when after you make a changes here i'm not going to solve it here this is i'm giving example okay uh you may say <laughs> okay now the things here you can swap you can swap according to the which one is easy okay first i'm choosing dz okay uh, which one is dz of course this is a dz okay yes dz is the easiest one okay it's a power 2 and you can see it's a one back therefore um, the impact won't be that complex you see 
I might miss something here. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Actually, I didn't change anything. Okay, you, you just, you can. Uh, your question actually. Okay, this become a Z two, and it become one over zero. Then this one remain. It's all constant. Then okay, you can concentrate on the R most probably. Okay, R. You can take out all the R. Okay, pulled out and solve it. And you just solve it that then only you just concentrate on the d theta okay okay d theta is I think is possible you may say sir how to work with the sign 4 sign 2 and the kind of things okay I want you to learn systematically the skills okay later I'll, I'll come back to this one I'll I'll show you this how to solve this part now huh? this kind of things huh? okay now just this is an intro if you got a time just solve it okay just solve it this kind of problems okay now I'll give you one simple example to proceed also for the case uh, okay normally I leave it to you all to do some kind of practice lah. okay oh, this is because uh, it's like you you need to able to solve that if if Examples I pick E equals to X Y Z okay X2 it's exactly same right if you can remember uh, I cho I'm choosing this example similar to the previous uh, yes something similar but additionally Z I'm introducing the Z this is as you can see x2 to the y2 is equals to 2 2 okay circle can you see that circle you can sketch the z is can go up to the 1 it's a maximum is 1 ready therefore the z here is a 1 okay now you can get this clear okay how to solve okay how to solve this if I wanted to take a volume of this um, simple rules to follow okay 3 I just write this 3 and uh, R you know volume actually you need to find out the region this is a region this region is the region is uh, which one you wanted to choose dr r dr dr d theta okay you wanted to choose the theta theta for this is a complete what is the theta what is the theta? Theta is a complete to 360 degree. Can you see that? It's already complete. Complete circle. Complete circle, you know. Okay. That means it's a what? 360, right? Therefore, it's a 2 pi to the 0. Okay. What is R? What is R? R is a, for this case, uh, R is a you wanted to place the R, you need to place R as a 2, 0. Why 2? Huh? Again, be careful. It's not 4. Huh? 2 power 2. Uh, that's very important. 2. What about Z? Z is a 1 to the 0. 1 to the 0. Therefore, I need to place a DZ here. Okay. You see the order is correct. Then R can I bring it out. Okay and uh, imagine if I give a uh, um, ghost I'm placing inside the ghost here x y equals to x y I'm placing the ghost inside okay if I place the ghost inside x y I just purposely I'm placing the ghost huh? then I bring it out this can you now I can can I swap can I swap this just asking you can I swap this can you can swap this okay purposely I'm showing this for the swapping yeah okay purposely I'm sh showing this 2 pi 0 and 2 0 why why am I able to swap this exchange okay this one is what DZ DZ please this one D theta D theta this one DR see I'm placing the DR here then here I get a R and X Y goes is there. See, possible, right? Okay. Then 
swapping is allowed. I am just saying because it's a constant. Because it's a constant. Again, all these values are constant value. Therefore, I can swap. Okay, with that, uh, you wanted to say 0, 1, 2, pi, 0, 2 to the 0. Uh, this one again, you need to place this as a R, 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 uh, cos theta r sine theta dr d theta dz uh, okay now can we start working on this i i leave it to you this time please try please i want you to try by yourself that's a very simple one uh, very simple one because we are starting with the r first Okay, R is a, we are starting with the R. Okay, la, just I show you one, just, just, sometime I worried some student, na, they wouldn't be able to get it correctly then. Okay, if it is a cos, okay, it's R3 is there, this one R3, R3, right? R3, therefore it's become R4, divide by the 4, okay? The cos theta, sine theta, is a d theta dz okay is it difficult no right 2 2 to 0 2 to 0 when i place a 2 to 0 here okay this become constant then i take out that as a constant okay i can take out that as a constant uh, 2 power 4 is a 2 power 2 okay this is a 2 power 2 and you can see that i already taken out r r is not anymore our constant you see now I I want another one more solution kind of things. Huh? Sometimes it's look very complex. Uh, d theta d um, z again. Uh, we haven't solved this part. Okay, is it a so complex? Huh? I'm just asking you. Is it a so complex to do? No. I may say when you do the substitution, it's easiest to. Okay, easiest to do. Or you can for this to solve this one you have a two way to solve it two way to solve it uh, how one you can use uh, u as a um, sine theta you can take it this du um, change it okay it's a cos theta d theta done we have done you just substitute here don't change anything just substitute then you can solve it all right uh, easy another way another way to handle this problem is there any other way to handle this problem yes you have another way also some student they, they try several ways they, they have all this kind of uh, opportunity for you to try but uh, very important uh, this combination mm, if I'm not wrong I can uh, this sign combination you will have here right of uh, I, I used to say that first y sine x of is uh, sine mm, sine same right first one is a minus you get a theta minus theta the second one is uh, sine 2 theta therefore you get a of okay sine 2 theta see you can place that one also you can solve it okay I leave it to you I leave it to you solve the problem okay as long as you can solve the problem okay now you get this this is very um, easy uh, to handle okay now let us move into some complex uh, uh, complex uh, cylindrical problem okay after that I'll because we're going to finish the topic anyway okay this uh, for the first sessions I want uh, okay the next one is EX okay the next one is a EX is a find the volume at the solid bonded bonded by the by the plane plane okay solid bonded by the plane where oh sorry 
z equals to 0 y greater greater not equal huh? greater and equal 0 x greater than equal to 0 okay and x2 plus y2 equals to 4 and uh, z equals to 6 minus xy okay how to find out this uh, this sketching itself is uh, something very unusual uh, it's very hard to sketch everything but I, I want you to get uh, some idea of this okay let me sketch this first okay let me sketch this z okay y and x here yeah. um, okay this is all this three basically explaining the first quadrant is actually explaining the first quadrant or they may use the word called uh, first quarter okay quadrant they may use the first quarter okay uh, uh, the, uh, different uh, name for that but as long as you can see this is a it's a refer to the first quadrant okay now with that um, we can see the radius of this is uh, okay the radius that it can go up to is this 2 okay how do I know how do I know this okay this is very clear x2 to the y2 equals to 2 over 2 okay the quadrant is clear we can see we can draw the quadrant uh, sorry the the circle okay the circle now we we got the region ready okay now I wanted to pull it up what is the maximum value you can go for very logic right when you place x and y 0 the highest that you can go is a 6 okay the highest you can go is a 6 therefore I place it this 6 and but very odd kind of drawing you may get it you know because the combination may get a different different combination you see highest okay x and y can change okay x and y can change but the highest yes the highest can go is a uh, uh, 0 mm, yeah 6 okay that most important that I wanted to stress is a 6 lah. okay this is a 6 that I want you all to see okay now we got the cylinder partially okay uh, okay where do you want to place your eye okay where do you want to place your eye that's very important okay in order to calculate the volume of this okay is there ghost exists here no ghost is not exist here they want you to just solid bonded no ghost inside here okay no ghost inside here um, okay with that uh, okay I just go very fast a bit because I can spend more time for uh, what you call um, uh, spherical spherical is a little bit uh, complex okay okay with this three can I where do you want to start region I place X I my favorite X but you can change to Y no problem still you will get the same results huh? okay here too okay therefore I am placing uh, remember very important you must remember when you refer to this one you are referring to the R okay therefore can I place that uh, dr outside and I'm fixing my I to the R R as a basis okay that means this R is a 2 to the 0 okay the next one that I going to see is a d theta lah. okay just d theta you may say can I use a dz no cannot why you see you place the region first you try okay you want to go this side you want to track you need to track this way but easier if this this is very easy okay d theta you can see the theta is here theta is a 90 therefore pi over 2 to the 0 okay you can change then what about z the z is a, here is 6 over xy to the 0 is a dz and r remember to place r i am stressing again don't forget r in the convention sometime student always 
repeat uh, these things. No ghost, no ghost here. Yeah. That means it's one lah. The ghost is one always. Uh, if this is the scenario, uh, you need to change this. Okay, when you place that, okay, I show you two to the zero, pi to the two, zero. Then this become a six minus r cos theta. Uh, similar to earlier one, r sin theta. Okay, r sin theta two. Okay, r sin theta r d d theta dr okay then you can place this three you can combine to get the two to the zero okay two to the zero pi over two to the zero then you get a six r squared uh, r power three cos theta sine theta d theta dr okay now shall we work on the d theta okay uh, earlier i already taught you this process right okay theta cos sine how to handle okay i'm not going to finish this also but i give you answer okay i give you the answer okay then you can see this one as a 